Newcastle Fans TV. How are you doing? It's all right. I am currently in Central Station. If you look behind us, you can see in the background there, Newcastle Castle. Of course, I've got the late train down, half 11, and I should be in Brighton for about half past four uh, for the tough away fixture. It's a tough one to travel for all away fans. A credit to everybody who's ever get the train. The coaches, I've seen some of the coaches leave like four or five in the morning, man. Not for me. I'm not a fan of the coaches. Like, but fair play is if you've got the coach there and back today. Poor. I'm staying over. I'm staying in London. I'm getting the train back into London, staying over there. And of course, um, everybody who's gone down, if you've drove down today, poof, fair play. Uh, Brandon's already in Brighton. He's um, got hammered yesterday. He's met a couple of New Newcastle fans who've been on the fan reaction show in the past. So Brandon's already in down there. You might see me and, me and Brandon on BT Sport later on uh, this evening, so keep you an eye out for that. Um, but going into the game this evening then, right, so we know that Graham Jones has got his third game uh, in temporary charge. It's a full full, full squad, except from Paul Dummett. So the questions have to be raised, Mr Jones, because we've criticised him this week, is is he going to play the players in the right position? Now, it, does, it, it, does it affect the result? I think it definitely helps if you're playing the players in the right position. So you look at Emil Kraft, Matt Ritchie, I mean, Matt Ritchie, for me, needs to come out that side. I know, I know Eddie Howe is watching on and Eddie Howe will be at the ground today, but Matt Ritchie defensively needs to come out. Play Jamal Lewis. The lad can't even get a kick. His confidence must be knocked. Yes, you can't again, the Tanai. So, anyways, what was I saying? So, yeah, so players out of position. You've also got Eva Fraser or Miron playing in this bizarre left centre midfield role. In some extent, ESM's out of position because he's playing almost as a second striker. Now, ESM has been doing the business this season. He's the one, a quarter of the four that I've mentioned there that are that are performing. But ESM has actually put in a couple of horrible performances the last two games. So maybe you can move him around, put him to the left. I, I don't want to play a defensive line, back five, negative football. Brighton play some really attractive football, great football. They'll attack with Graham Potter. has obviously been touted for bigger jobs. He's been... Talked about possibly as the next England manager after Southgate. So, look, I fully expect Brighton to have a lot of the ball a day, and especially down that left flank. And they'll probably play wing backs with Dunk. And you've got it's just the land of the giants. You've got Dan Byrne, who's to be obviously from Bla he's a Blythe lad, um, Duffy as well. So three centre backs, wing backs they'll play. They're neat on the ball in attack. Uh, whereas Newcastle, please, Graham Jones, didn't play. Eddie Howe's watching on. Do not bloody play defensive line. Negative football a day. It's a long way for all of us to go and travel. It's a long fucking way. It's literally the bottom of the country. Literally. And I'm only going by train because I didn't want to drive. So please, I want a performance today. And it's his responsibility today. I know Eddie Howe's coming in and then we've got in at national break, which is expecting him to be announced probably Monday. But however, we need a performance, man. For the special file and fans going do there. Um... It's live, as I say. Uh, we've got plenty of videos, loads of videos. Uh, we've got me and Brandon. As I say, Brandon's flew in from Holland. So even Brandon's travelled. And f f funny enough, Brandon is actually closer to home than what I will be when I get down there. Mad that, isn't it? Even though it's like he's got to go through a couple of countries. But um, yeah, me and Brandon will be bringing all the match reaction vids as well. And we need to see players in position. For me, that's number one. I do not want to see negative football. I don't want to see 10 men behind the ball trying to nick a point away at Brighton. Come on, let's be a little bit more brave. Let's go for it. Graham Jones talks a good game. He talks well in press conferences, but the last two performances have been absolutely shite. It's been very much like a Bruce performance. I want to see attacking football. I want to see go for it. I want to see... Do you know how it is? Do you know what I said last week? If we get beat off Chelsea, the train arrives. Um, not for me though. Uh, if if we get beat off Chelsea, which we did, I don't mind that. Show a bit of fight, but we didn't have none of that. If we get beat at Brighton tonight, yeah, I'll be disappointed, but I'll be much more happier coming away that the lads have put on a performance. You think, you know what? We got beat today, but now what? There's a lot of promising things there. We're attacking, we're players, we're flying past players. You know, we need a positive display, we need a win, and we haven't won all season, man. All season. But like I say, as people start getting off, I'd be probably wondering what I'm up to here. Love you and leave us from Central Station. We'll see you in Brighton for all the videos later on tonight. Remember, we've got the watch along as well from 5pm with the lads as well, Carl and Steve. Ta-da.